their way, on their way, here to slay, but they need some help. They need some help. Should we just start it like this? Like this? Yeah. Um, Emmy, our friend Jenna is... Oh, also, welcome to the podcast. Our friend Jenna is giving Look Emmy Jenna weed has, lip balm. That's not what it is. Emmy's going to get high. That's Girl, you're blocking the is. cameras. Oh, sorry. How was she going to hand me it? I don't know. <laughs> Can I this is it? not Jenna and Gianni need help. What? What? Yeah. They were talking, so I said, this is not Jenna and Gianni need help. Um, we need to get into the vibe, so we're going to play so the theme rude. song. I'm so sorry for the way he's acting. Everybody, we need to get into up. the vibe because I feel like the vibe's off because I just ate like I literally just like slammed a piece of salmon down my throat like I've literally never eaten in my life and now my stomach hurts and if I burp it's gonna be vomit. Go ahead. Oh fuck! Wait. Wait, like, really? Isn't it gonna play when the intro plays? Brandon in the club's time to here to slay, but they need some help. They need some help. Welcome That's back Brandon to the podcast. In the oh yeah, welcome back. We have more important things to say. That was Brandon in the club. Shout out Brandon in the clubs. Welcome back to Emmy, Emmy and Ian, Ian need, need help. help. Oops, um, I just messed that up. I slammed it into my own face. <laughs> Don't forget that you can listen to our podcast every single Wednesday. And watch it every single Friday, Friday, yay. We cheer on Fridays. <laughs> um, we have a bit of a audience with us today. There's like 30 people yeah, here Yeah, by the a studio. bit of an audience, there's seven people. I feel super awkward. I feel like everyone can smell my breath. I ate so much seafood and I feel like a, a little oily girl. I do. I feel a little bit greasy. I'm not going to lie. Um, and we just slammed burgers down. We'll yeah, get we, to that. It, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. But we ate a burger at 10 in the morning. Anyways, so they're going to be our laugh track for today. So can we get a laugh? <laughs> Ew, I hate it so much. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. We didn't start the timer. Um, We have a little timer with we us. We talk too much and we don't stop. Yeah, we talk. <laughs> sorry. We talk way too much. So we need to know when to shut up. Um... Anyways, how have you been, Emmy? My whole body hurts. I My brain is a hollow shell. I'm tired. I really want a massage. I've slept a total of six hours in the past two days. But it was my birthday. So good. How I, are you? I'm exhausted. I've been moving. Everything is in a box. And I'm... I have not slept at all. Also, last night... I'm so glad. But last night, I called Emmy. Sure. And I was like... I got a text from Ashley and Matt. I don't know how to sit. And uh, they were like, oh my God, are you coming to Tiger Heat? And fuck? we met oh, Ashley wait, and Matt. Mind. Yeah, never you mind. know exactly who they are. I thought I knew and then I had to like- Um. So my brain. I got a text being like, are you at Tiger Heat? And I was like, oh, because I've t Tiger Heat, if you don't know, it's like a gay club. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. I reopened and it was midnight and I was actually exhausted and I was like, I need to go. So I was like trying, I, I almost went alone, but the Ubers kept canceling. I'm not kidding. I was like so serious. And then I was like, wait, I do have to film this burger thing in the morning, but I'm very I glad wanna, that I did I it. actually want to read the text that Ian was sending. Cause he, I literally was like, are you <laughs> drunk? Dude, let me grab my phone. Wait, here. She I, thought I was on drugs and I was or just drunk. No, I was very sober. Like well, full girl. sober. No, it was like, past midnight by the way i'm pretty sure like it was late i needed to dance put a song on and go in the bathroom i didn't have a signal i couldn't you were texting me you had signal girl to text i can't even send photos i tried to send gifts yeah there's crumbs all over my phone and oil <laughs> like what anyways oh we didn't even say our guest our guest oh, today, our guest today is, is savage gas our bestie dun, my roommate dun. i was trying to think of uh What's like, what do they play in the beginning of a Disney movie? I was gonna like, he's a Disney adult. I was gonna make the Disney like theme song noise. The dun, 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 dun. Oh, the tax. Anyways, yeah. Tiger Heat. I, there's Ian, there's like, t like I literally, okay. So Ian, the last thing he did was send me a TikTok at 1145. And then within three minutes of me not answering, he goes, Tiger Heat is tonight. I forgot. My brain wants to just do it in my sweatpants and hoodie. And I said, OMG. And then he's like, like we should, like I want to. Like, would it be crazy if we did? These all were separate texts, I feel yeah, like, right? Yeah, and they're all in caps. And then I was like, Jenna and Michael are sleeping because it was literally midnight and I was cleaning my house. And then this is all still in caps. Should I order an Uber to you and then go to Tiger Heat? 
And then this is the next one. Like right now I'm feeling it. I'm manic maybe. And like haven't slept so exhausted, <laughs> but want to see how far I can push my body. And I didn't answer. So a minute later after not answering, Emmy, can we? And then we can Uber back for the shoot in the morning. And then I said, no. And it, he just kept saying, no, please, I'm begging. I like need to go. I have the drive to Britney Spears house feeling. <laughs> And oh, then yeah, I asked we, if you were drunk and you're like, no, I'm fully sober. Emmy, please. And this is the embarrassing part. Well, also you were trying to justify it by saying that we need to be perks of being a wallflower. Yeah, because I wanted to be like a crazy teen, like with my head out the Uber. Yeah. And then he told me he was going to go alone and we're only young once. <laughs> After par like at like paragraphs of all capital texts begging me to go to the club. The last text was at 12 a.m. At 12.01 a.m. He sent me this. Okay, so like something flipped and now I like actually need to just go to bed. <laughs> so, so like I was being really dramatic for no reason. And then we didn't go. I, I just thought I wanted it and it turns out I didn't need it, you know, and that's okay. I really wanted to go to the Claire. You could have went. Yeah, but it's Tiger Heat. If you don't know, it used to be on like this place that was way closer. It's not and now there it's anymore. Way no, it's, it's like further away. I thought it was temporary. Wah, wah, wah. I that's what I thought too. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Um. Anyways, I feel like we're not even talking about what's on the list, which is good because we had a guest that canceled, and that's okay because everyone hates us. Yeah, everyone does hate us. Everyone's in the hospital. What's up with that? Oh, yeah. Like, so just, inconvenient. Just Thanks be so healthy. Like, like, literally, we have a show to put speaking on. Speaking of be healthy. Oh my god. Oh wait, that's like later down the line, but we can talk about that. Um, we both need to go to the doctor really fucking Severely. bad. Severely. And like, by we both, I think you more, but like, when's the last time yeah. you went to a doctor? So long. I went to a yes. chiropractor. Me too, but that doesn't count. And then they said, like, she literally cracked my back and she's like, this is going to fix your anxiety. And then she like would crack my neck and she, I would, I would literally, I'd be like, my leg hurts so bad. Like it's so fucked up. And then she would be like, she literally would just like adjust my body like the exact same way every time. And it definitely was hurting and like made me sleep on a piece of styrofoam on my floor. Didn't it, you like have... A chiropractor and something. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Never. I have a chiropractor totally story, lying. but I actually. Yeah, I was kidding. No. I, I actually made it up. A lot, so. lot. Crazy chiropractor story, but I actually can't talk about that. I'll explain it after the show. Literally kidding. Um. Anyways. Every time I would go to the chiropractor, I remember like being aware that some people like get their neck cracked and just die. So every time he was about to crack my neck, I'm like, this could be my last moment. But like to kill someone, not to like adjust your neck. No, like some people go to the chiropractor and they just die. I don't think that. They do. It's on E! News or something. <laughs> it's literally, I'm going to find it. Some lady literally died. So I don't go anymore and I can't like feel my, I literally like feel like I can't support my head with my neck. That's how bad it hurts, but I'm not going back cause I'm not dying. You have a neck brace so you can I make do. it I work. had to use it the other day. That's a lot. Oh, we ate greasy burgers 10 in the morning today. Oh my God. We had to like do a shoot for a thing. Okay. And we're allowed to say it, right? Oh, Jenna? we are. He, oh, he told us we can cause it will be announced by the time this podcast episode comes out. 1-800-BURGERS! Go to Postmates right now and buy a burger if you are in the Los Angeles area. Basically, Jordan just texted us and he was like, you guys own a burger company. And we were like, what the fuck? And he's like, come tomorrow to take photos. And we were like, what do we wear? And he's like, I don't know. And yeah, then he and then was, I'm like, what do I literally wear? And he's like... He wouldn't fucking respond. And he was like, I did not know what was going on. We took some photos with burgers. We ate At them. At 10 in the morning, we ended up biting the big greasy burgers. They were good. I mean, it was just they like the thought good. of like biting into a greasy burger at 10 a.m. probably wasn't like the my favorite thing. Yeah. And then Jordan got there and we hid behind a chair, like without even thinking about it and hid for him for like for like 20 minutes. And we were crawling around the floor and we're texting him like, we can't come. And then he was like, oh my God, they can't come. And then everyone and was then just- And we surprised him. You looked super fucking embarrassed. <laughs> what um, the fuck? And also uh, we're forcing him to take us to catch for yeah. doing the burgers. Yeah. And in celebration of our podcast and we've never been to catch except for the one time we sat outside it for two hours trying to meet Jason Derulo and we didn't meet Jason Derulo and we thought someone drugged his car. That was the worst day ever. No, no that, that wasn't was the, the worst best day ever. Yeah. But didn't we, we go to Britney's house too, Britney Spears that day. No, that was a different day, but literally we waited. No, it wasn't. Was it? Yes. That was a different time. Cause you picked me up from my house that day. But we were together. Literally, we waited outside for Jason Derulo for fucking two and a half hours. And we I, don't, were, I don't even like him that much. I don't, I don't either. But we just wanted to like mess with him for a TikTok. But like, what do you do at a restaurant for two and a half hours? And he was Drink. there like an hour and a half before. So he was at Catch for like over four hours. Unless that wasn't even his car in the first place. Well, that was because we looked, looked it up. It up. <laughs> um, no, here's how this happened. We were at my house. Like 
probably going to bed or something, like literally nothing to do, like didn't even plan on leaving. But then my friend texted me, he's like, I might catch and Justin Bieber's here. And I was like, eh. And then he's like, well, Jason Derulo's on the other side of us. And I was like, and we, we need to run as fast as we can and go. I mean, we don't even like, I- like, and then we like called no people interest. that like definitely wouldn't be down, but we were just trying to convince everyone that oh, we knew. Yeah, and everyone's like, mm, you guys have fun. <laughs> and we're like, okay. And we literally sat on the curb outside of catch waiting for Jason Derulo to come out. And we thought we saw some man put powder in his car. And then we're like, we have to stay here and warn Jason Derulo that he might sit on poison and die. But we didn't. We didn't. And he's alive. So. so it ended up working out just a okay. And we got McDonald's. We did. It was so yum delicious. Was it? It was Yoma leaning on. Guys, that salmon is swimming. <laughs> the salmon is swimming upstream. Yeah. Or downstream. Both. <laughs> oh shit. I mean my shark. Oh my god, the first podcast shark. That's gonna be you. That's all. Bitch, you. I sh oh, wait, I'll I already talked first, about shitting myself I'll, after eating. You do Beast every burger. I think every single episode. Okay, you we have about to your shit. But get one eight hundred burgers to. and you won't shit yourself. I promise. Unless your no family doesn't agree with me. No sharding guaranteed for 1-800-BURGERS. You can quote me on that. Um. Anyways, how was your birthday, Mrs. Hartman? Um. Super good. I don't remember most of it. Why? I'm turn I turned 22. Do you have a really bad memory? Is that why like, you don't remember most oh, of yeah. it? Oh, yeah. It's not because I was blackout drunk or anything. It's because I have a, like, a super bad memory. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because I literally downed drinks as fast as I could. It was because I have a bad memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We went to Rocco's. Um, well, first we went to a bar and we saw they had karaoke. And me and Ian needed to sing CeeLo Green or something really bad was going to happen. I don't even want to say what was going to happen, but yeah, it would have been super, really bad. Really bad yeah. would have happened. But we did find a dollar and we gave it to them. And I said, it's my birthday. As if it wasn't fucking clear because I had a birthday Sasha TR and an Elsa pinata on my hip. Um, the they, Elsa pinata was probably gave it away. Yeah. Because most people on their birthday were... Um, Elsa. Frozen pinatas. Yeah. When you turn 22, you have to. Oh, also, it was Adam Sandler party. We talked about that last oh, week, yeah. but yeah, we all we dressed all up as Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler. I went up to the guy who was doing karaoke. I also realized, am I like not looking at the camera enough? Am I going to like cross side like every podcast? You. Um, no, I literally went up to the guy doing karaoke maybe nine times being like, it's her birthday. And he was like, yeah, I know that. I'm going to bump like, her up. The and then up. he wasn't bumping you up. And I literally was like, it's her fucking birthday. And we have a reservation for another place in like 10 minutes. So we got to hurry this. And then he did. Well, thank you, sir. I also feel this. bad. He, The guy was being so mean. This person did karaoke before us. And they were definitely like not being as annoying or as loud as we were. And he was like, Make sure to not be annoying and scream into the mic after you sing. Do you remember oh, that? Us? The guy that came, that guy that went on before us. Oh, he yelled at him. Yeah, he got like so mad. Like, why was he being so mean to that guy? Sorry, we're looking to our friends who were also us there. screaming the end of that CeeLo Green song. Yeah, and he just didn't say anything. It was my Vita. You can't yell at someone. On yeah, you day. really can't. I woke up sore. I have so many. I look like I got beat up by a ghost I or some shit. I think I got shit. beat up and forgot. I think I might have too. I, well, I I know why. So I was just living my little Rocco's paradise life. I was in paradise. I was dancing with a literal 60 year old woman. It's on my Instagram yeah. if you want to look at that. And uh, me and Emmy, whenever we go out, we do this thing where we lose each other for two and a half hours and then <laughs> don't know what's going on. And then we come back and have seven stories that don't sound real. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then there was this drag queen that was like, <laughs> she was giving also, oh my God, who, sorry. I'm like getting so sidetracked. It was either you or Brie or Jenna. Did we find a bunch of dollars on the floor and just like hand a drag queen, like a giant pile of like $50? I think $50? I dropped those cause Chandler gave me No, and there was stack. more on the floor and we literally just took all them and just handed the host. I dropped a dollar in a toilet and then gave it to Ian. And then I gave it to a drag queen. I'm so he sorry if you're a drag think. queen at Rocco's. Um, Anyways, so this girl drags me on stage and they were like, it's time for a catwalk. And I'm dressed like Adam Sandler and I'm already like, <laughs> I'm already like a stick figure enough when I like try to dance or attempt to. And like the baggy clothes was just really not doing it. But so uh, for some reason in my brain, I was like, it's a competition. So like I have to was win. It? No, it was literally okay. not. Which, why are you going to have a fucking catwalk if no one's going to be the winner? Because it was going to be me. Um, And so then... The first person goes up and they do a split. And I do not know how to do a split, but I know how to do a really bad death drop. 
And so I got on stage, I did my little dancey dance and I slammed so fucking hard <laughs> onto the like concrete like stage. It was, yeah, my I like can't walk. It like hurts to walk. My body's super sore, but the death drop actually looked better than I thought it would. I'm not gonna lie. There's a video of that too. It was a lot. Girl. All I remember is that at the end of the night, me and Jenna look around. We're like, where did every single person we came here with go? Everyone fucking left us, did not say a word. And then we're like, are you kidding? But I was like having my B-Day moment. I was not going to bed because I was so awake. So me and Jenna just like frolicked around a parking garage for an hour. And then we got like to the bottom of the parking garage and we're like, how, like... <laughs> where is the exit? And the security guy goes, you guys have been here way too long. You need to go. And I was like, well, how do I get out? And he wouldn't tell us. And he was just looking at us. And I was like, hello, where's the exit? And he watched us like wander around for 10 minutes. So we figured out how to leave. And then my dog ate all my fucking McDonald's. <laughs> I tried to go to the dog park and then I didn't. And then I was outside and then I saw Gasper and then he was like, I'm getting an Uber. And then I went to my room. I woke up in my bed and I was like, this is very confusing because I thought I was going to go to Emmys. I woke up on the floor next to my empty McDonald's bag. Anyways, speaking of gay people, we saw Tyler Oakley. Um, I got something to say. Go ahead. So uh, we were... Okay, let me backtrack. I make jokes about Tyler Oakley. Also, you, go. you have Stop. your skeletons in your closet because we said a long time ago that Tyler Oakley ate Colleen Ballinger's placenta okay, so on an Instagram a Live. Out. We started a hashtag of, for Tyler Oakley and it was we were just bored on live and we're like, we're going to get it trending. And we said that he ate Colleen Ballinger's placenta. And that's all that I did. And which Actually, I don't to think be fair, we didn't even say that. Someone commented it and I read and it out loud and laughed. It. And then everyone started saying it. And then I was like, I guess. Yeah. This. So we actually, I did nothing. So go ahead. You went on, the, you started the live. Hush. So we see Tyler Oakley. And I also made another video explaining that like, I say Yas and Slay, but like not in a Tyler Oakley gay way, but in a way that I'm better than everyone and funnier than everyone. So it's acceptable. It was like a long like rant thing. Anyways, so we're driving and I just see Mr. Mustache Man. And his Jetta. I thought he was kidding for a second. And then I literally <laughs> thought like Tyler Oakley was on the street. We always also like joke about like, oh, we need to like meet Tyler Oakley or like Joey Graceffa or whatever. And mm -hmm. it's not even in like an assholey way. Like I just loved them when I was a teenager. Um, but Ian starts screaming and I'm driving and I look over and it's Tyler Oakley. And we start like screaming at the top of our lungs. And he's like, Shh. and then after the second time we screamed, he was like, like he, Tyler Oakley. Are you going to be the one to say it? What? No. no so, okay. Don't. Tyler Oakley, I did nothing to you. Wow. So be mad at him, not Fine. me. And then we posted the story on, I posted it on my Instagram. Tyler Oakley put me talking <laughs> shit about him next to this video of me screaming, being like, I love you, Tyler Oakley. And then he said, on the next side, he made three slides and said, not the last two slides being, being the about same the same kid. person. And then that, that disassociates, uh, disassociates, that associates back to me. And now I just want to play the video, but that means that Tyler Oakley now hates me too. And I'm pissed. And Ian's real, real lucky. I DM'd him and he said no beef. Oh, he, he unfollowed me on Twitter. So um, I, uh, Ian's su super lucky that I'm not 14 because if I would have been 14 and Tyler Oakley hated me, we would have a really big fucking problem. But anyways, here's um, what Tyler Oakley did have to hear. And I- Yeah, we have for the audio listeners, this um, is, be yeah. here, like, um, turn your volume down. Yeah, maybe this was a lot of us, but we were super excited and I am sorry. <laughs> it was an exciting moment. It was, and maybe it was longer than this clip. Yeah, it was a lot longer than that clip. Um, we were excited. And then he's, he posted, he's like, I was just trying to drive and clear my head. Sorry. He was on Melrose though. And he, it was my B-Day, Tyler Oakley. What? Like, you can't be mad at me. Like, exactly. Tyler like, Oakley, come on the podcast. Oh my God. We didn't talk about how we went to like a crappy sky zone for your birthday. I just want, I had one wish. And that was to go to... <laughs> fucking sky zone and jump okay and like and the plan of that was like jump for 10 minutes and eat a hot dog but like i wanted to go so bad and then it was like no we're booked 
I didn't know that. I didn't know Sky Zone could be booked. They're just like, let everyone jump, you know? But then Ian's like, no, I found a place. I found it a place. looks so cute and cool and giant online. Girl. It was a children's birthday park with five trampolines in it, like tiny trampolines. And we had to wait in line with a bunch of five-year-olds because there was a birthday <laughs> party going on. And it was literally me, Jenna, Michael, and Ian, like big, giant, tall girls with literal, actual like, like five-year-olds. Old. And they're all like- Yeah. We made friends though. <laughs> like, hello. And then there was like a play- station pen thing and we really wanted to go and it said like don't come in here unless you're under 48 inches but we were like can we go and she's like I didn't see it. The manager felt bad. Every fucking thing was broken in that place and also the trampolines it wasn't like oh this is an area with five trampolines. It was like you had to go on the specific course that was like you would go two trampolines turn around three trampolines. That was literally it. So you just kept have to spin and jump around in the same fucking four trampolines over and over and over again. And then we just went in a ball pit. Yeah. And then the zip line was closed and the fun wipeout thing was closed. And then there was like this thing. What, what is it? Like the bars that you like swing like across. Like Ninja Warrior like things. A, basically like just a monkey bar type thing. But there was foam like cubes <sighs> under it. So you would think like, oh, foam cubes. I can fall into that. I hit the fucking floor. I literally was like, I'm falling straight down from this monkey bar. I thought I was going to hit a foam. I smacked. It was like an inch of like. No, I didn't even hit a cube. I fell smack into the floor on my tailbone and it fucking hurt so bad. Oh my goodness. But she gave gracious. us a free pass and we're going to go back next week. Oh yeah, we have to go back. Yeah, so we did that. Went home, dressed as Adam Sandler and blacked out. Happy birthday, Emmy. <laughs> Age is so weird. <laughs> I literally up until like last night at three in the morning, I was like, age is fake and it's dumb and I don't care. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm fucking old. And I'm gonna, I'm literally a fourth of the way to death. Yeah. I also think it's just even worse. Like when you see, when you think about like goals you have and then like the people that are like in the industry with the goals you have are like, yeah, like I'm not even gonna call her out because she's so talented, but it's like, I'm Olivia Rodrigo and I'm 12. And then you're like, I'm 22 and I'm about to fucking die. And then it's like um, all these actually, young- I haven't thought about this yet. <laughs> you haven't thought about that? No, I was just thinking about how when I was 16, I'm like, when I'm 22, I'm gonna be hot. <laughs> uh, I missed something, <laughs> but well, thank you. Because now I'll think about this too. Go ahead. Yeah, and then it's, no, I think about that all the time because it's like, and then you have to just act a certain way when you're old. We don't. Oh. Ian, we just went to a kid's play trampoline park. What oh. are you even trying to say? You know what I mean with certain things. And also we just, we don't, we've, we talked about this We earlier. just crawled around the floor and <laughs> hid from Jordan for 20 minutes. Like, what do you mean? No, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like with the internet, especially cause like the things that I say online, like it's so easy for people to just be like, you're a fucking old man. I don't know. Anyways. I'm not connecting the dots. Our problems. Our problem is that we just both need a physical. And yeah, that, we need to go. Should we go to the doctor together? That would be fun. I said I would get a prostate exam with you. Did we talk about that last week? Yeah, we did. Sorry, guys. We, we're stockpiling things right now because we need to have three episodes in advance. So if we're just talking about shit and prostate exams too much, just I, let us know the in the comments. You're the one who brings up shit every single time. And it's... I mean, we've talked about this. I um, you, we can talk about pissing ourselves if we actually piss ourselves between every I podcast. I've pissed myself we film. since the last one. <laughs> Five days clean. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I was thinking. Well, at first I was telling Ian, "Go to the doctor. You're concerning me." And then I was like, "I need to go to the doctor." But instead, I bought a seventy-five dollar a month vitamin subscription. So I think that will fix everything that's so, like the same thing yeah so i'm not going to the doctor i also don't get it i don't know how you do that i don't get it <laughs> like the doctor who do i call the doctor okay but who i don't know so what if you don't match with the doctor's vibes do you ever think about that <laughs> yeah like i don't want to do that like literally my old doctor was dr shabab that's crazy yeah i don't remember anything about her i haven't seen a doctor in a minute Anyways, wait, oh, we've been going for 23 minutes. Look at us go. 23, 32. <laughs> <laughs> is that Ariana's remix to 34, 35, 23, yeah. 32? Yeah, it is. It's coming out soon. Featuring Savage Gasp. What? He has a song with Ariana. Oh, yeah. I, I hate to be the one to announce it for you, Gasper. <laughs> <laughs> He's a <an> girl. <laughs> He's not listening. Next. Should, next what? Your prob. My prob? 
You said you can't unpack your boxes. Oh, I can't. I, I like. I, I wrote it down, but I don't even want to get into it. I can't pa- unpack my fucking boxes. It's a long story. It's really not long, but I don't want to get into it. But yeah. So I'm going to die alone when I'm 75. I just, I have that written down. I just want to say that really fast. I don't feel like it either. I'm also going to buy seven birds. I've always had this plan of buying five macaws, two on each arm, one on the head. I open my front door. Hey, I'm going to be fucking insane. I literally am going to like walk around booty cheek naked. I also feel like you're not to cut you off, but I feel like you're too afraid to live in a house alone. So you're going to be like a crazy old lady in like an apartment complex with like 22 year olds. (laughs) Yeah. Probably. And I'm going to literally like, I'm going to have a, oh yeah, when I'm 80, I'm going to get giant, giant, (laughs) giant fake boobs. Like the biggest fake boobs you've ever seen in your life. Because I don't like want them, but I just feel like I'm missing out. So when I'm 80 and probably like pretty close to croaking, I'm just going to have like (laughs) giant bowling ball tits. So. Yeah. Just thought I'd say that. Go ahead. (laughs) I don't know what to say after that. End of sentence. I'm just imagining you with bowling ball tits. Why are you imagining that? Should we bring out our guests? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Um, Up next, we have Mr. Savage Savage Gas. Gas. We're with Gasparilla Grande. We are with Mr. Savage Savage Gas. Gas. Savage Gas. Yeah. What's your name? Savage. Like Gasper? No, what's your name? Why are you like (laughs) saying it like you don't know what you're asking? You're like, wait, like what? Savage gas. Wow. This is crazy. Can we get a round of applause? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if that picks up, but it's okay. Um, Can I hear the feet thing now? Oh, so let's yeah let's like just, what's wrong with my feet yeah let's yeah. start right off with what's so, wrong with your feet okay so i like fake tan myself the other day and um, <laughs> <laughs> i stained my like toenails with the fake tan so they like look green ish yellow so now my question is why was the fake tan green well it like it's like yellowish green but ian was like you w- sure it was what's the tan wrong? yeah right i don't know i think i should go to the hospital that but, might be a lot oh my god Wait, okay, we can, uh, you can say if we can cut it out. Um, Gasper recently was in the hospital because his um, dick has a rash. You were in the hospital? <laughs> Wait, are you lying? I can't tell when he's lying. Nah, okay. Wait, Come can on. you? you <laughs> no, I, said, I said, no, I said, tell me what we can't talk about. And you did not say oh it. God, you don't want that anything. No, no, I, I don't even care. Like, okay, so like I went home for like two days. And Wait, I, this is real. Yes, yeah. this is real. Okay, so I went home for two days and I like didn't have my shampoo because they took it in TSA. So... I use my dad's soap and I like after the shower, I was just like, my dick was just mad red. And I was, <laughs> and I was like, what is going on right now? And then like, I woke up the next morning and it was like hella dry and itchy. And I was like, so, no, no. so I went into my dad's room. <laughs> you went to your dad's room I went into my dad's. <laughs> no, I didn't show him, but I told him and he was like, dude, like you might have an STD. And I was like, oh my God. So I, I went to the doctor and got a test and it was fine but i did have an allergic reaction to the soap so i had to use an anti like something cream and like i just like had to rub it on dick gasp had a pee pee wash um <laughs> but my dick is fine now oh i'm glad so everyone out there for hearing this gasper's penis is okay it's okay yeah. what a question to start off yeah i know i, I don't even just, know how that i like told it. ian that in confidence and it's the first thing he brought up you told you told me the things i'm not allowed to talk about in confidence i literally said ian this is. last night i literally said this like this sucks because like y'all know me so well like i'm scared no it's like not the worst questions i am okay so unless they're really bad and they might be interrogate you um i said this earlier me and gasper are roommates if you guys didn't know so i'm like worried but gasper Come on, <clears throat> blow the smoke into your sleeve. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. I don't really care. Or towards know. Ian. Or towards me. I care about my lungs. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, I was worried because me and Gus are roommates and I'm like, what if I say something and then he's like mad and then it's like awkward. <laughs> That's really awkward for you. I think we're already yeah. past that. Are you mad? No, like you it's look fine. Gasper, if you ever got mad at me, I'd just have to block you. I know you <sighs> did say that once. And then you also said that I was scary because I played soccer in high school. And I'm so scared of men. Most of the time. I showed Emmy like a high school photo of me in like my like soccer uniform and she like gasped and Yeah, I like had to run away. No, I'm scared of men, but like not actually, but like something about men who play soccer is so terrifying and I would have never expected such a thing from Gasper. 
Why? I don't know. Because I just like knew you for a while. And then you're like, yeah, I played soccer. Because I haven't exercised it was in the three biggest, years. Well, no. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> um, no, but I knew him for a while. And then he's like, yeah, I played soccer. And I was like, what the fuck? I just felt lied it to. It was a shocker. Shocker. Some might, some shocker, might say. Shocker. Um, well, let's go down the <laughs> list. We have, we, have a, we have a lot of talking points to hit. Okay. It's a mix of questions and just statements. Yeah, it is just, it's kind of just like exposing you. Okay. Let's I do have it. to burp and I feel like the fish is going to come up. Go ahead. I might um, at some point. Okay. Okay. So first off, give us a little story time of the time you bought an $100 rose teddy bear for a girl <laughs> that goes to do. Okay. Oh, wow. So we're, <laughs> we're just going right in. Yeah. There. So like last valentine's day um i was oh my god why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> i told you i said i literally told him i said you have to be specific because i will bring up things oh i didn't think you remembered that okay wait and okay we remember everything <clears throat> we remember yeah, a lot sure. after that okay so yeah like i was talking to this girl and i thought it was real cool so i went to the mall and bought a 100 dollar like fake rose teddy bear for her for valentine's <laughs> day and I was like about to leave for Dallas like the next morning and I like texted her. I was like, yo, you should just like come to like the apartment real fast. Like I set up like a whole thing with like flowers and like the teddy bear and stuff. And um, she didn't <laughs> respond. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't respond no and then i like i left and then the next morning she was like omg like i fell asleep and she literally posted on her story like eight times that night <laughs> just out and what did you do with the teddy bear uh <laughs> i gave it to the next person i was talking you re to it. and uh, yeah i repurposed it and <laughs> i said that an upcycle I, if you will yeah and i was like oh yeah i just bought this <laughs> she loved it did you say <laughs> did you did you say i bought it for you yeah i did <laughs> I hope she sees this. No, stop. Anyways. Cut that. Cut that. Um, this one isn't really. <laughs> no, that wasn't even her. Oh, <clears throat> that was before. Was it? Was it? No. Nah. That's what I thought. That's Damn. Gasper wasn't. gets hoes. I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Emmy. We have oh, another this talking one literally point. Literally, isn't even a question. I just like thought of it. And also, it's literally not anything you can even answer, but I just want to say it out loud because it makes me laugh. Do you remember when we were at the beach and we were laying there and you're like, I really hope a bird doesn't shit on me. And within like a minute, a bird shat on you. It filled up my belly button. I didn't know that part. <laughs> like, what? We were all like laying out and it literally just dropped into my belly button and it was like it was like a little pool of doo doo. Swimming around. And, and then you also, got- wait, 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 yo. Uh, and then the sunburn. Severe. So Emmy was like, oh, you need to put on sunscreen. And I was like, I don't. Like, I never even get sunburned. Like, you're like, I'm Italian. It, it was like, it was like, <laughs> like not a sunny day. <laughs> it so, was literally no clouds in the sky, sun beaming down. Listen, so everything okay. is fine. <laughs> everything is fine. And then I got home that night and like my legs were really red and like burning. And I was like, okay, it's not that bad. So I like put aloe on it before I went to bed and I woke up and there was like blisters, like bubbles on my legs. And it was Damn. really gross. And then I picked them. Speaking okay. of shit. Like, um, <laughs> speaking of shit. It's on the list. Who spoke spoke of shit? Bird shit. Oh. But we have more shit talk. Not talking shit, but talk about shit. Oh, <clears throat> Gasper, you should have specified things we can't talk about. Yeah, I think I know where this is going. So. Speaking of shit, I have a funny story uh -huh. about Gasper. They had an Airbnb mm -hmm. and I was like, I you cannot know. leave your Airbnb in this condition before you leave. It was disrespectful. <laughs> so I was it like, was. I'll help clean like the good pal I am. I I'm this. cleaning the bathroom. I'm like, damn, there's... I'm like, damn, there's a lot of fucking crumpled toilet paper in the corner. <laughs> this one I almost don't want you to say. There's, it's a little too late for that. There's a lot of crumpled toilet paper in the corner. Just got to pick it up and throw it. I thought it was just like, I don't know, like t like tissues or something. So I was like, I like was taking a different piece of toilet paper and grabbing it and just putting it in a trash bag. And then our other friend is like, where'd all that toilet paper go? I'm like, the trash? And then he's like, Emmy. I was like, what? And then he's like, Gasper wipes his ass and throws it in the corner. And I was like, what do you mean? Okay, listen. So, so the, why do you do that? Why do you wipe your ass I and throw it in the Gasper's corner? I picked up Gasper's shitty crumpled toilet paper from the corner of the fucking bathroom know, that was, was marinating. Like on your hands. Um, So like that toilet like didn't work. 
So I You don't gotta lie, girl. That's for Wait, that. No, no. That no, no. is a no, no, no. fat fucking lie. Because okay. when we were in the Airbnb in New York, there was a little shit <laughs> situation no, no. That's going on. What's his face shit on the floor when he was drunk? That was not me. Are, is that what you're talking about? I don't remember. No, after that show that we had, um, that that person that we're not gonna speak of got super drunk and like tried to sit down and he like half sat down on the toilet and like shit in, on the floor and in the <gasps> trash can. <laughs> what and the that, fuck? <laughs> and that wasn't even me, but I did pick it up with a Ziploc bag. Oh my we left. God. No, no, no. What? Wait, no, no, no. Okay, so like it wasn't even like the toilet didn't work, but like I couldn't flush that much toilet paper down it when I take like a big shit. So How I- much what? He shits. He's a big boy. Yeah, and he I'm also a like a liquid guy. Like I'm not like a big solid food guy. So it's like, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a barnyard shit, as me and Emmy <laughs> yeah, would call it. it. Bar- barnyard. Me and Emmy keep saying I'm barnyard shitting. I don't know what that's like. I don't know how it started, but like we'll literally text each other and be like, "Girl, this is it's a barnyard, barnyard shit." Sorry, guys. Wait, what's that comedian that's like, my pussy smells like a barnyard animal? <laughs> Amy Schumer. Yeah. She goes on stage, she's like, my vagina's nasty. And everyone's like, ah! I feel like we had such a big Amy Schumer phase where I like, maybe just me, where I like watched all the- <laughs> Yeah, girl, maybe just you. No, I, I watched it with you at the old house one time and it was like the leather special. And she's like, oh, I literally am getting a rash on my vagina and it stinks. She's like my pussy stinks. <laughs> and everyone's like, ah. <laughs> We love you, Amy Schumer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So today, bad. today, Gasper, because he was a very last minute guest. Um, I was. We ended up just going back to my apartment and we just handed him a coffee. And then Emmy ran out as fast as she could because we kind of trapped Gasper into driving here because he has a Tesla. Yeah, I literally <laughs> walked in. I said, hello, Gasper, are you ready? And then I was in the living room and I was like, I want to go in the Tesla. So I thought if I ran out as fast as I could and took my car home, he would have to pick me yeah, up. Yeah, that, okay. I didn't to. like understand that because Emmy was like in my room and like she had driven there and then like wasn't. Mm-hmm. And then Ian was like, oh, we have to pick her up. And I was like, where did she go? <laughs> home. Because you don't want her driving her te- your Tesla car. again. Oh yeah, the last time Emmy drove my Tesla, she drove it off of like a really <laughs> high curb and dented the front of it. And my bumper was like kind of hanging off. She crashed it twice. Yeah, the only time she ever drove my car. Wait, what was the second thing she hit? Well, first, when I was leaving Wendy's, I didn't see the curb and I slammed down to the floor. Um, The second time I was trying to park it and I hit the curb and like knocked the bumper off. And then I said, if there's something wrong, don't tell me I will Venmo you $500 and leave, which it probably was more than that. Um, And then he's like, no, I shoved it back in. And then you never told me. It was more than that to fix it. I'll give you money, I told you. No, no, no. Gus, for why? We face. have you on our show and you're trying to guilt us? This is ridiculous. I didn't actually, I just pushed it in. It's still like kind of hanging off. Um, <laughs> it's fine. We've I know you kind, didn't mean We've it. kind of gone what over. Oh. I was kidding. I didn't. Okay. We've kind of gone over the fact I'm that you're give a you Disney. Ad- <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Anyways, go. Um, we've kind of gone over the fact that you're a Disney adult. Uh huh. Um, what is it about Disney that just gets your juices flowing? Juice what? by Lizzo. Like, what do you love do you about love Disney? Disney? It's like, not like a sex thing. I know. Well, it's obviously not a Who sex thing. That? You have Peter Pan on your He's throat. Your juice is flowing. Okay. You have Peter like, Pan on your throat. There's other juices. Okay. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I like Mickey Mouse. You can't just look sideways with the Peter Pan and Mickey be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mickey Mouse. Nah, I've like always been a Disney adult. And when I quit my job, I like didn't know what to get um, as a tattoo on my hand because I wasn't allowed to have them before when I was working. So I just picked Huey, Dewey and Louie because I thought they were fun. And from there, it kind of just became more and more and more and more. And then I like dubbed myself a Disney adult after that. I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Yeah. I can't stop like thinking about your toes no. just being out. Oh. My toes? Yeah. Why is there like a rash on your big toe? What I, is it's, that? It's like a cut. Is that the pedicure from the first time we got pedicures? Yeah. This your toenails not grow? I trim them still. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but like the paint is still like. I don't know. Got to zoom in on my toes. Whoever's editing this. Why are you this. crunching the fabric? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Now that you guys have shamed me in my feet. I'm going to just put these bad boys away. One time Ian and Bree chased me around and like, let us see our toes. And yeah, we wanted to see your little oinkers. Your little You're not what? seeing them. Her little oinkers. Her little piglets. Oh, your little piggies? Can I see? No. 
please. No. Please. No. Fine. That's a cool shirt. S- Thank you. I w- oh, I wore it in honor of Gasper, Mickey and Minnie. Speaking of seeing Disney. um seeing speaking of seeing uncomfortable things, I saw your penis twice. So <laughs> let's talk about this. Cause I feel like we haven't actually discussed. Okay. So like when I get <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I have to observe. When this I one. get drunk, I like to like um <laughs> tell the tell the camera. Yeah, when I get drunk, sometimes I'll like pull my pants down as soon as I get into the bathroom and then walk to the toilet like that. <laughs> And one time I did it and I literally turned around and Ian was just standing there. And here I was completely flaccid sitting down and it happened twice for some reason. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I, wait, can I give an example of what he did? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you examples. So imagine this chair is the toilet. Okay. This is what he did. Okay. So he like did this and then he went like, that's the toilet. What's like? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So he was so far away. That's and I'm the door. sorry for the audio listeners right now. I'm explaining the whole situation. So the door. Okay. okay. He went. His full hands out. And then he went. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then sat down. And I said, Gasper, I just saw your penis. And then he said, <laughs> <laughs> Was that on Halloween? Yes. Oh, Gasper has a fun hobby called have everyone come over, get really drunk, and then fall asleep by 10 and not hang out with us. Yeah, why do you do that? That's like a occurring theme. You're like, <clears throat> I'm so down. And then everyone's there and then I have to kick everyone out. I'm just like an easy sleeper. Like <laughs> when I like get drunk or high, like I can't help but like wanting to make some memes. But that one time. What did you like me- sleep? Like take a little snooze. Some memes? Um. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there was one time though that I did it and Emmy filmed me for 45 minutes while I was asleep. 45? Yeah, you left a whole video on my phone with Ben. (laughs) And she was was like whispering to me in my sleep and she said, hey, Casper, you're sleeping right now. (laughs) I have it. (laughs) I think I have a few on my phone of me just standing there going, get up, get up, get up. Oh. Yeah, Emmy loves talking to me when I'm not conscious. That sounded weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I didn't mean that. No, I get um, bored. Should we go into our our first segment, Mrs. Hartman? The lyric one? Is yeah, we have a shit? game. Some it's, iCarly shit. Yeah, we're gonna, we, gonna um, we can dance later if you'd like. It felt like iCarly as soon as Ian took his feet who, up. Well, who's who? Who's who? Like Freddie, Carly. Sam. Or, yeah. Yeah. Who's Carly? Who's Sam? Who's Freddie in this group right now? I feel like Emmy's definitely Sam, and I feel like. Ew. Bitch, you want to be Carly? So no, nah, <laughs> like, no, no, you can be Carly. Oh, I'm Freddie. I want to be Gibby. You can be Gibby. You can have your Gibby. stomach out. Do you I love Gibby. Gib Gib. You no, can take your Gibby. shirt off we if do. you want. We but actually I don't do. think you do. Um. So, obviously, you are a rapper, as. <laughs> As we know. Do y'all Why ever, won't you like, let me and Ian be on a song? Music? Yes, all the time. Do you forget that I make music? Yeah. Why won't you let me and Ian be on a song? Um, Because like we're always just doing. Ra- that we was, can like, rap my- really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys want to freestyle right no. now? No. Should we put a beat on? No. Okay. I, um. It's like I'm kind of anxious. <laughs> like it has to be in like a privated space. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we just like do so much random shit together that like. We I like never made music or spoke about it in front of either of you. Well, we've been rapping recently. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I can't no. hear it. No. anything. Do you have like okay. no, no? We haven't recorded any of it. No, but we just like want to know like into the mind mm. of Savage Gasp, and we mm. want to know like it's just we just want to know some insight on your lyrics. Oh Jesus! So, so we explain have, the lyrics. We have some lyrics oh. written down from. Really old songs. I was searching oh. and searching and yeah, searching. Yeah, Jenna found some for us. Jenna found a Did bunch. You really? Yes, she was searching. There's some bad ones. Yeah, she. We were not like that bad, but no. Um. So yo, I was gonna say we'll do see. Do you wanna? Do you wanna start? <clears throat> oh yeah. So explain this one. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> you say gasp. Don't make hits. She's smoking on dick. What does that mean? Yeah. Um. Like. <clears throat> She, like you're smoking on dick if you don't think oh that, that was I'm like okay. thank you like you're that it was really good that yeah explained. you're like you're misinformed okay if you think that i don't okay you're smoking on <clears throat> dick I, no that's all we need go ahead um i don't i wrote <laughs> enough, i there's like the 
I'm gonna skip the second one just because that one was like, it's okay. Um, this one says, got a grandma looking bitch to my right. I call her Betty White. What does that mean? I definitely didn't say that. Yeah, Jenna literally was the one that wrote that one Betty down. Betty White? Yes, Betty what White. What song? I don't- It was on SoundCloud. Oh, hell no. I, I definitely didn't yeah, say did. that. Yes, you did. It says, it, it's written down right here. Got a grandma looking bitch to my right. I call her we Betty White. We copy and White. pasted. Uh, it was know. literally on your genius. I can Nah, that's not even that bad, but I definitely didn't say that. No, you did. <laughs> yes, so you mean? did. I, what does that y'all mean? Y'all didn't look that hard because I've said way funnier <laughs> shit than that. What what does it mean? <clears throat> a grandma looking bitch to my right. <laughs> yeah. She wait, what is it? She looked like Betty White. You wrote I it. call her Betty White. Oh, is Betty White alive? I don't know. That's you not the wrote question. It. I don't know. We wanna know. Oh, she is? Yes. Damn, she must be getting there. But <laughs> she must be getting there. <laughs> yeah. She so must. what's that mean? Why did you write that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't really have an answer to that this one. This one, the next one is like Shout a, a love the, one. A love one? Yeah. So they're all fake except for the first one? They're not fake. No. Literally mm. read the next one. Okay. The one under the grandma one? Yeah. Um, you my missing link, no Twilight Princess, and I don't need your forgiveness. What does that mean? What's the story behind that? What? Oh, oh, it's like. Y'all never played Legend of Zelda? Are y'all like nerdy? No. no. I've, I forget yeah, how nerdy right? you like, are. Yeah. I like, I don't know. It's like from a game. Legend of Zelda, Twilight <laughs> Princess. Nice. I feel like that's not going like, to resonate with your audience, but it's just like a game that I liked. Okay. okay. Do you want to do the next one? You can. I'll do the one after that. How um, did you find that? That's like on my archive <laughs> page. We have the we, Betty White thing though. We uh, actually I need I'm not to know kidding. what song that's. You just threw that in there. No. You thought you were just having a little goof? No, it was on there. Okay. No, it actually yeah. was. Yeah. On the um, track list. <laughs> um, baby, you baby, you're my pearl, no tampax. What? Like, <laughs> like tampax pearl. I assumed it meant like tampax <sighs> pearl. Yeah. Like those tampons. I'm not really like uh I don't know that much about that. Like, about tampons or periods? <laughs> about either. I've asked you about this stuff. Like, <laughs> is it like out of your butt or is it? Like Gasper. <laughs> Gasper, I'm just going to ask you the next one. What is? Uh, <clears throat> what did you mean by baby, you're my frat queen, call you RuPaul? <laughs> what Wait, did, what? You're my frat queen? Baby, you're my frat queen, call you RuPaul. What is frac? Like, like fracking? Fracking. What does that mean? It's when you like dig into the earth for like oil. You knew this when you probably fucking wrote it, so I don't know why you're um, asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. What does it mean, like, in that sense, though? You Jenna, it. can you get the definition up of fracking? Yeah. RuPaul has a fracking Yeah, doesn't he? Wait, can you come out and explain this? Is that, like, this? some sort of... Yeah. Come here and read the definition, Gianni. <laughs> <laughs> come here. Did you just hear him? Is what? that some sort of butt thing? But... <laughs> Frac I will say that between the two of you, I think I've seen every season of RuPaul because you've forced me to watch it every <laughs> time, like, for the first six months of when we Someone met. Someone pull up the definition of fracking because now I'm confused. Right. Right. Up mines. Okay, so he- up Injecting liquid at high pressure into subterranean rocks for- Wait, can you come on and read it? Because they're not- Can you read like the you. urban dictionary one though? Like it can't mean that. Fracking? Yes, just someone come here. Like RuPaul's Come here, audience. Frack. Jenna. He, he fracks. Jenna, you're on, you're on the camera for Cheers, brother. So you have to come out here. Everybody, welcome to the queen of- Jenna. Uh, welcome to the queen of fracking, Jenna <laughs> Wolf. Yeah, Jenna. <laughs> Jordan actually is starting a fracking mm -hmm. business that we have to promote soon. <laughs> fracking on Urban Dictionary? Yeah. Fracking. It's not going to mean the same thing on Urban Dictionary. Um, it says a polite term for shoving a lubricated probe into the earth's hole to release gas. Yeah, but it's like illegal, I think. To release gas. gas yeah, isn't it problematic? It's like really bad for the environment. Oh. The so last part of like, that was gas. And what is his name? All I heard was gas. lubricated hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so guys. So I um, like have an, a better idea of what it but means. But do you care about the environment? Is that why you wrote that lyric? Yeah. I feel like that's probably what I meant when I wrote that. And it wasn't something about a lubricated hole. <laughs> okay. Unless it was to help the environment. Okay. Okay. Um... Should I read the last one? If you want to. Oh, there's only one more? Yeah. yeah. Um, this one. <laughs> Sorry. You want me to? 
<laughs> but would you say you met by slurping fish piss with these fat fucks? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was one rule. <laughs> what did you mean by that? What Do you, you usually slurp fish piss? With these fat fucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you write that? Why did you write that? I don't know. It seems a little problematic and not body positive. Yeah, I have to piss so bad, bro. Me too. Oh my god, our last guest fucking ran out of the studio <laughs> yeah, to go pee. Gotta... Like he didn't tell us. He was just like, "All right, I'm gonna go pee," and he just got. Yeah, up. we thought he was kidding. He literally was just like, Speaking "Gotta go." Of fish piss. Do you want a little break? Yo, the first time I ever met Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Did you piss on the ground? No, or... that was. Oh yeah. Or don't maybe she doesn't want me to say that. Our friend. Our okay. Bleep out her name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I in thought the that alley. You on the, yeah, in the alley. Yeah, and then we ran back and then um they fell in the middle of the street. Where's the craziest place that y'all have pissed? Girl. I pissed Everywhere. my pants three times a week. Everywhere. I, don't know. I was gonna say I peed on my subway sandwich once. I peed yeah. outside of KFC. The subway oh my God. sandwich one I was completely <clears throat> sober, by the way. Yeah. And I just like don't know how to control my bladder. I feel like I've peed. I, oh, I, I peed in a Lay's chip bag once. Oh, I pissed in the back of an Uber one time. I thought I was peeing into a bottle, but I was so drunk that I was just pissing. Like, <laughs> Are you fucking serious? That's why I have like a 3.8 rating on Uber. If you pissed in the back of my fucking car, I'd get your account deleted. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was pissing into my Dasani bottle, but actually it was going all over his car. And <laughs> on my when shoes was and this? pants. That was probably like a year ago or two years ago. Oh my god. Right gosh. about when I met you guys. Uh, yeah, I just like pissed in the back of the Uber. Meeting you two like was like the craziest bender though, like ever. I'd never pissed in so many different places until I met you two. That's so fun. That's so sweet, actually. Don't you yeah. like feel like cool now that you peed a bunch of places? I shit myself in the hype house. Gasper. What? <laughs> oh my god. Remember, <laughs> that, remember that party that we went to? Yeah, you shit yourself there. Like I sharded pretty bad, but I did take my underwear off and throw them in the trash. Oh my god. There? That day? Uh like after I left. You sharded and I told you that I had to go home, but it's because it's you I sharded. sharded. Yeah. Did I ever, did I tell you about the bidet story at the Okay. Um, the bidet story at the what's that house? The clubhouse. Did I tell you I about that? I might pee my pants right now. I'm not going to lie. Me too. You guys go pee and I will tell, tell the story. A, a can we, story. Can we stop the timer? Um, we're just just, gonna keep going. Yeah, I'll just okay. keep going. We always go over. Oh Sorry. God. Sorry, editor. Oh, it's um, filling me. So I'm going to tell a very lovely story about the time that I accidentally sprayed toilet bidet water all over the clubhouse bathroom. So I was fully sober. Um, I was in a... Like three different fights with like three different people. I was so stressed. I was like cry. I was like sobbing my eyes out in the clubhouse bathroom. And they had a bidet and I was like, oh my God, something good is coming out of this because I love bidets. They're my favorite thing ever. But it was the one with the hose. And so I was like, okay, I'm I like don't want to like get this all over my clothes because I don't know how to use this. So I just took off all my clothes and got butt naked for some reason to use the bidet. And in the bathroom, it was all full of glass. It was lit. I'm just telling, I'm telling the story to someone off camera right now because I just want to like, ha like not look at a camera. Um, okay. I'll tell it to the audience. So I literally was in a full glass bathroom. It was a box, which like why? Cause I was just watching myself take a shit. And so then I literally like go and I like position myself to like spray the thing. And it gets stuck and I spray it and it starts going all over like the glass bathrooms and just like spraying just toilet water all over the bathroom. And I'm like covered in water, like crying. Cause I'm just like <laughs> in a fight. And like the person that I was like fighting with called me and I was like, I can't talk. I can't talk. And then I just like literally had to clean up. I was literally like on the floor, sobbing, cleaning up, the entire bathroom, butt naked, staring at myself in the mirror, crying while I had to clean the entire bathroom. And then everyone was like, why did you pee for 50 minutes? And I was like, my stomach hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, oh, you're back. I was talking about how I had to watch myself butt naked, scrub the floors of the clubhouse because I sprayed a bidet everywhere. Because it got stuck. It was the hose bidet. 
I'm literally not kidding. That actually no, happened. You told me this, but was I there? You wait. Put the um. Was you I there? you were there, and then I remember because I used the I I oh, used you literally took so long. I was like, where yeah, the fuck? Are I you? used the bathroom. You're like I sprayed the potato all over. The I place. used the bathroom for like 20 minutes before to actually use the bathroom, and then I used it again because I was like fighting people, and then. I was ended up just being in there for like 50 minutes because I only I had to use toilet paper and I didn't want to clog the toilet. And then everyone was like, where are you? And then well, I thought you left. I think John, that was when Jonah was here. Yeah. And we played really funny videos. Well, OK, no, I don't want to say that. Yeah, let's, not, let's just wait for Gasper. So we have a segment on oh, our geez. podcast where so basically we need views obviously it's a new podcast we don't want it to do super bad we want to make sure that we hit those watch minutes so we can get the channel monetized uh -huh. and in order to do that we've decided that lying is the way to go uh -huh. so we have a tiktok account where we post clips from the podcast but we ask our guests to just come up with the craziest lie story that they can so that people will be like oh my god this podcast looks so interesting like i need to click on it so, uh, what do you want to lie about today? Um, like the craziest, most obnoxious thing you, you can like about. mention, like a celebrity, like that not you Abby don't Lee actually Miller, know. Though. Not Abby Lee Miller. Who's we learned that, that last week. Dance Doesn't Moms. <laughs> like, I don't know. You can come up with like any lie you want about anything. That sounds. It has to Why sound are you like eating harvest snaps. Sorry, <laughs> it has to sound crazy though. Oh. I know we're putting you on the spot, but like, um, you have to. Wait, who? Uh... Like, give an example. Like for oh, so for last week, um, the crit, like the clip, it wasn't necessarily a story, but we were pretending like we were having, having a, a contest, contest, like a ball contest, and like we went in front of the camera and like pretended that me and Polo Boy were comparing balls, and like Emmy and Tyler were reading it. It just has to be something crazy. It could be a lie about anything, any celebrity, anyone, unless you don't want to like. I, like talk about a random celebrity but like it's encouraged um oh my god <laughs> <laughs> we're putting you on the spot yeah yeah, yeah. do you need Sco help yeah Sco can you guys help me okay what's i just like don't want to like oh man like the one that we were like using as an example last week is that like abby lee miller gave someone ketamine or something like just just an obnoxious sentence that if you saw a TikTok clip and heard like, oh, Abby Lee Miller gave me ketamine, and then you want to know the rest of the story. Yeah. Mm. Who's, Who, wait, Abby Lee Miller's like 50. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's on Dance Moms. Uh -huh. Wait, is she like a mom or is she like a child? She's she like the instructor. girl that screams at the kids. Oh, shit. Can Abby Lee Miller even dance? I mean. Can she? I don't know. I've never seen Dance Moms. She's in a wheelchair. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, is she actually? <laughs> Can we just use that clip? <laughs> Wait, can we just use Can we just use that clip? I knew she was in jail. We're just gonna use. I know she was in jail, but I know she didn't. Oh yeah, she there. was in jail too. Wait, she was in jail with the. Wheelchair? Oh my god! Well, the, yeah, we can use. <laughs> yes, she is because there's that video of her like wheeling to Baskin Robbins. <laughs> we should just use that. We can use that clip, yeah, but let me like backtrack. I was asking like, she's not always been in one, right? No. Prior to the wheelchair, was she a dancer? I'm not sure actually. Can someone figure that out? I remember watching the show and she was um, a dancer and then when she was like in her teenage years, I think like she was really young and she was like, oh, like I'll never like be a good performer. I should become a choreographer. Oh, so she, uh, if you guys didn't hear, she was a dancer and then decided that she couldn't be a good performer. So she wanted to be a choreographer. Also, I'm not laughing I, the fact that she's in a wheelchair, I'm laughing because I said that sentence out loud and now I have no. this information. Abby Lee Miller, I hope you're okay. We know. Wait, how did she get Yeah, why is she wheelchair? in one? Well, she was in jail for tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no. Oh, wait, do you Yeah, have she it? was. She was in jail for tax evasion and then like she, I don't know, she just got like, a, I think she has cancer or something. Yeah, she has a cancerous tumor, but she's now cancer free. Yeah, she okay. is cancer free. Congratulations, yeah. Abby Lee Miller. Do your taxes better. <clears throat> 
<laughs> I'm gonna go to jail for tax evasion, girl. I mean, don't say that. No, I'm not. They will use that against you. <laughs> Literally kidding. And if I ever do, this is not Emmy. <laughs> um. I don't know we, why the last thing I searched on Google was Lele Pons. <laughs> why? Are you no, because like, I said Lele Pons was at that part that Six Space Flags Jam? thing that we didn't go to. Um. Anyways, should we lie about her? Should we go to Six Flags? Yeah. Do you guys want to go to the water park next week? Yeah. Okay, wait. Wait, what did you used to say about getting in the water? Like, you were like, oh, we're going to be Greg and Rowley at the pool. <laughs> yeah, we're literally Greg and Rowley. No matter who I'm with, any of my friends that go to the pool with me, we're literally Greg and Rowley because me and Ian play Moana in the ocean. Me and Brittany boogie board and play mermaids. Like, anyways. I got in a fight because um, my boyfriend is trying to throw away my goggles and I was like- With the nose plug? Yeah, and I was like, no, I'm gonna fucking play Mermaids with Emmy. And he was like, no, like you're not gonna use this. And I was like, yes, I am. Like, I am. You cannot throw away my goggles. Like, what if I need to play a mermaid? And it was like a whole fight. I'm literally you not kidding. You can't fucking throw your goggles out. We need to buy a snorkeling kit. I know. Some guy tried to get me to surf when I was at the beach last time. This was like two weeks ago. I was with Ava and Jake. And me and Ava on the water, he's like, come surf. And I was like, no. And he's like, come on, just hit the wave. And I was like, no. And then he kept giggling and I was like, why is this man laughing? A whole minute goes by. I look down, girl, my boob was out. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. And Ava just like pointing and goes, <gasps> and then I put it back. Your big fucking knockers. Were yeah. Out. My <laughs> giant Your big sagging. Yeah. Milk filled knockers. Yeah. Wait. You we're out. Was Emmy the Betty White bitch that was to your right? That yeah. you wrote Remember about that in that song? phase that we went through of just saying that Emmy had massive boobs? Who's we, girl? It was you. <laughs> It was. It was. I think a it started mean. with me just saying you have a giant. Booty. Yeah, first we were talking about. I do have a big ass. Do you, do you want, want to show, the, show camera? the camera? Uh, they can use their imagination, but it's pretty big. Just know that he's about three inches taller right now because of how fat his ass is. Yeah, I'm like taking up a lot of this chair. Is it like uncomfortable? Yeah, I have to fart so bad. Guys, what you were just <laughs> no, no, in the no, fucking I'm just bathroom. <laughs> I don't think you're kidding. Can we like? Um, Don't look at the paper. Can we like Sorry. what wrap it up? Is that what Casper's you're trying like, to say? Casper's like, I want to go home. Can we leave? Nah, I don't believe you. Anyways, I should have eaten the salmon. I know you should have, Gasper. It was good. Anyways, um, never go to Lala's Argentina Grill. I got salmon from there once, and it sucked because Ian told me it was good. I like mm -hmm. Lala's. Where did Argentina we get food grill. poisoning from? I got it from different places. I, my sandal I think I got it from Wingstop, but I feel like we had it at about the same time. Yeah. Anyways, that was do you want to introduce shit. the last segment? I thought we already started it. No. Oh. That was the lie one. Yeah. We just have questions for you. Yeah. Intrusive questions. Oh, uh, okay. So. Did you make these up, Jenna? No. Okay. Oh, she didn't do any of the lyrics either. That yeah. was us. Yeah. Oh. We just wanted to like add the dramatic effect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they <laughs> so, still were yeah, real lyrics. I was like, did you find this? Those were real lyrics. You're a good those. actor. You're like, yeah, I did. I um, our first. I'm gonna <laughs> laugh. This whole thing has just been intrusive questions. Yeah. Yeah, but these are just like worse, probably. Worse? Than are you jealous of corpse? Am I jealous of corpse? Yeah. Nah. Okay. Are you sure? Mm, mm -mm. Yeah. I actually like love him. I've actually heard other news. Really? Yep. From who? Corpse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was also a lie. Nah, he's the um, guy. On no. Halloween, we. Like me and my friends are at my house, went to Gasper and Ian's and there was this random kid there. So one of the roommate's brothers and we literally oh. were going to lie to all of our, like the friends are at my house and be like, that's corpse. Like that the is whole him. night. Everyone believed it. Us. Was just, yeah. It was everyone Mark's believed brothers. us. Yeah. That's Mark's. yeah it was yeah. one of the roommate's brothers. We're like that's corpse. And they're like, no fucking way. And if anyone doesn't know, like nobody knows what corpse look like, but we're like, no, that's him. Don't say anything. Everyone thought that they were like let in on like the biggest tea of the century. They were, I was like, I was like, don't fucking go up to him and ask for a photo. Like, make sure. <laughs> like, that is literally corpse. he was, corpse. like, wearing a mask the whole time? Yeah. Yes, like, everyone wearing... was like, holy shit. Like, that's corpse. And then, like, I waited, like, two hours. And then I felt really bad. And they were all in the bathroom with me. And I was like, we lied. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Next. um, back to earlier. Why won't you let us on a song? Why won't I let you us on a song? specifically on yeah. a song? Yeah. I literally like have asked Emmy if I could go to the studio with her like four times. I want to say no every single and time. She says no because <laughs> she's like, afraid no. to sing in front of people. No, not in front of people. I just one time like though it. when we were in your room, you like made like a Billie Eilish cover in front of me. I think. Yeah, 
I'm not afraid to sing in front of people. I just don't want to go to the studio with people. <laughs> you, not on even, the other hand. Not even just you. I just don't want to, like, I don't know. You don't want me to come with you? I don't want anyone to come with me. Yeah. Well, we could. I've literally asked you We can go times. to a karaoke bar for fun. Should we go tonight? Tonight? Girl, I'm going to Taylor Swift night tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. We yeah, have to do that. your energy for Taylor yeah. Swift night. Are you going to go to Taylor Swift night? Uh, sure. I think it's sold out. Just kidding. Okay. Sorry, it's like super exclusive. Will you buy us a Tesla for Christmas? Please, I, you I have like one. For Emmy's birthday, I like offered to buy her something crazy, and she said, "I just need your love and friendship." And it yeah, was I just really nice. Love and friendship. But then I like thought about it, and I feel like you owe me a Tesla from the amount of damages that you caused to it. Yeah, probably. But you can have that later on in life when I have a lot of money. Yeah, I'll buy you or a Tesla for Christmas. You can just have my friendship. Yo, I saw JoJo Siwa's Tesla the other day. Where? Her like wrapped. It was in front of that like dance studio that she has in Burbank. But I. Yeah. Like really random. But I like drove Why past it. Why didn't you tell was, us? Why? Yeah. yeah. I just, what is your prop? I, it was like wrapped with her face. And I was like. No, oh, we shit. know. Oh. Oh, I know what her Tesla looks like. Are you literally kidding like. me? No. That's, I'm being cr- that's ridiculous. Serious. Let's keep going with these questions. I mean. Like. Now I don't I'm even pissed. know where we're at. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you hate me for making you camp out of the DMV and then you couldn't even get your license? I definitely was mad at you for like a week. Um, a week? It wasn't my fucking fault you forgot your address proof. Is that why? Yeah, it wasn't yes. my fault. You couldn't get your license because you forgot okay, to bring wait. the correct documents, okay, okay. Gaspar. Wait a second. So we get there. Uh, I'm going to just tell the story. Right? I'm going to set the scene. So we got there at like 11 this is p.m. A joke. Wait, it's a joke? You were mad at No, girl, it's not a joke. No, 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 no. I was actually mad at you. Now you're backtracking. Tell the story. Tell the story. Okay, so like we got there at like 11 p.m. And we started off by um, Emmy and Ian doing doing? CeeLo Green karaoke for like an hour um, (laughs) in the car that I was sitting in the back seat of filled with all of your shit. (laughs) So I was like uncomfortably laying down as you turned. And it was like CeeLo Green and Adele karaoke. And I listened to that for like an hour. That was sick. And then we Uber Eats Krispy Kreme and sat outside. And then by like 5 a.m. we got in line. I waited through the whole line with both of you. And everyone got what they needed but me. No, Emmy didn't. Yeah, I, mean, I never even got the right license. She couldn't get it that day. It's funny because I went back like a week later and also didn't get it again. Why? Because uh, I forgot it again. So it was wow. never my fault. I no. still convinced them both. I was like, if we go to the DMV at night and then camp all night, it'll be so fun. And they both did. Yeah, it, it was fine. It was cool. Speaking of license, um, I have a question. Uh-huh. Do you know where your license is? Yeah. Can Wait, we see what? It? Like, can we see your license? It has like my address on it. We aren't gonna show it. We yeah. See. Sure. It's in my Hello Kitty and Friends wallet. It's not in here. Are you serious? Wait, yeah, why is it not in here? What if I told you <laughs> that a couple days ago I stole your license just for fun to see how long you would go without noticing that it was missing? Well, like, it's crazy that you say that because you definitely There's took it out of there when I was in the bathroom. No. no. Do you have it? No. Maybe. He actually has had it for days. <laughs> why does it look like you have a stack of licenses <laughs> in your little wallet? Thank you. What if yeah. he had to go to a bar or something and you had his license? It's fine. Like, okay. it's not a big deal, guys. Like, why am I the bad guy now? Like, this is <laughs> fucked up. Keep going. Why wow. was that like a little, you thought that was going to be a little prank moment? It wasn't a prank. I'll steal it again. Watch out. Okay. I'm going to steal your Tesla and take it to Alabama. You can't drive. Can we go to Floribama Shore this summer? Is that a real oh place? Oh my God, wait. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. Could we just do the very last wait, part hold on. of this? Is yeah. Floribama Shore still running? What is that? I actually like love that show. It's so fun. Oh, it's I a place. It it's it's, it's like, in Floribama. Yeah, it's like a Kentucky version of Jersey Shore that was like on MTV. Yo, it's really funny. Kentucky version. Yeah, it's just like a redneck version of Jersey Can Shore. Can we go to Kentucky? Yo, I would love that. And Tennessee. I haven't been back in a while. Okay, basically, we need to wrap this up, but oh, okay. I've been working on my beatboxing skills for a while. Okay. So, can you freestyle if me and Ian beatbox? Sure. Okay. Because you are a rapper. Barely. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I don't really, like... Yeah, sure, let's do it. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Ian, right? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Emmy. She got a pillow on her lap. 
Ian over there with his wallet. <laughs> Shit, I'm going crazy. Got the shoes on the table. Ooh. Where my beer at? I should have brought it up here with me. I didn't shit on the floor in the high <laughs> But I did it in my Airbnb. Airbnb. I want to go on Wipeout. Like John Cena, you ain't seeing me. Gasper. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, whatever. Like, Let's whatever. fucking end this shit. Like, I, like, I feel like I'm the worst guest ever. No, no I feel like funny. that was good. You don't feel like Where it was good. Guys? It will be edited, so like the awkward like timing won't be there. And that's the only part that's gonna be in it. It's, it's just, awkward. It's, just, it's <laughs> five minutes cut it of so awkward. It's only our like awkward silence moments. Yeah, of us just staring at each other. That sounds good to me. Okay, well, thank you, that's Mrs. The Savage. End of it. Yes. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, give us a good rating. Yes, please. follow stuff. Also, go listen, go stream Savage Gasp. Also, don't forget that you can listen to this podcast every single Wednesday. And watch it every single Friday. It's so amazing. Don't you guys love it? Don't comment anything mean. Don't say anything mean. I'm saying this every week. Don't comment anything mean. I will read every single comment and I will think about it for a month. Wait, they have comments on Spotify or on YouTube? On, on YouTube. YouTube. It's going to be on both. Um, Anyways, stream Savage Gasp. Follow Gasper. Follow us. Follow us. Stream Brandon in the clubs. Yes. And good. Bye. Nice. And me and me and need help. They're on their way.